Alright guys, I'll just quickly show you what we're up to on these um, last two piles that I'm going to um, put these jack supports under. And as I said, this, uh, these last two piles are just belts and braces to uh, allow me to pin off the new slab <coughs> that I'm pouring from my foundry uh, back onto the edge beam of the shed. Um, so that shed, uh, with that unstable ground, that shed's going to be taking extra weight uh, of that slab. So that's the reason I put the extra two piles on. Um, I've got to probably do it without it, but as I said, belts and braces, I'd rather be sure than sorry. So I did show these in my previous videos, but I'll just quickly run through what we've done. So I've made up the strong back, and this is the orientation it's going to be underneath the uh, underneath the slab. So these two points here are the points of contact uh, as it gets pulled up underneath the slab, uh, sitting down on that that pile that runs down over two meters is this uh, top plate um, that I've uh, put a chamfer into there which allows my screw, my jacking screw to go into them. What this does, it just stops the, the screw walking around, keeps it in one spot as we screw it up. So the system is we put this into here. I won't screw it all the way. Basically, this sits uh, you know, up in this orientation like this. Um, these are up underneath the slab. And uh, as we screw it up, it uh, pushes up against the uh, underside of the slab, which uh, basically lifts it. On well, my particular case, it's going to stabilise it and uh, just have belts and braces to keep it in place. So, fairly simple concept. Nothing great in it. Um, I've welded a compensating plate onto this um, 75 by 75 um, SHS. This is 6mm wall thickness, so it's pretty thick stuff. But I put the compensating plate on just to uh, increase that bearing load that's, uh, that is transferred through that nut. And uh, top nut here, that's just welded in place. There's a bit of uh, M24 Geld um, high tensile threaded bar. And uh, the the bolts are also um, high tensile, just uh, just plain black. So that's it. I'll uh, I'll put this into place, and we'll show you how it all looks when it's uh, when it's down the hole. All right. So this is what it looks like uh, when it's in place. Uh, down there, you can see that um, that bearing plate that's sitting on top of the pile. And then uh, we've got our stud through. And uh, I've just got a big socket that I put on top of that with my big breaker bar and uh, we can just tension that up and pull it up against the underside of the, uh, the slab and that's how I did all the lifting uh, so this makes a total of um, 32 piles that are supporting the shed up now so I might have just take you around quickly and just show you just how far we've actually lifted the shed up at the back so we've got the two, we've got that one there And then we've got this one here. So that's supporting up against the, the back of the shed here. So I'll just take you outside just quickly and just show you what we're doing there. Here a little bit so you can see underneath there I did pour some concrete under there but yeah you can sort of see the gap underneath there it's probably around about you know, 90 mil or so it does taper down it's lifted a little bit less up this side it's about you know, about a 15 mil difference so it was this side over here that went down really bad you can see on the far corner there how I poured a foundation I went down fairly deep on that, but as soon as I put the weight on it, it just started sinking. So, hence the reason for all the piles down so far. So the plan is to, uh, to pour a slab in here and then fix it back onto the uh, onto the edge beam of the shed. So, if there is any more movement out of this ground here, uh, with that slab on top, it's going to be supported back up underneath here. 
and this all used to be a big old brick garden shed and I'll take you back you might just see it might be a bit hard to see but that is on quite a lane that's probably dropped about 60 70 mil and that's cut through so it's uh, it's got quite a lane on it a couple of my mullers we actually had four mullers when we were running the foundry but I've got uh, the two smaller ones that was one we built later it's just using a uh, an old cement mixer that's my, my good wheel muller and we had uh, two larger mullers that we ran so as I said this is all to get my little foundry back together again and get it up and kicking all right guys so that's what's happening at the back here. All right guys, that's it for the piling. Um, I'll never say never, um, whether I'll do them again. Uh, I do want to get a bigger universal mill at some stage and I may need to put one more pile in. I, I did have a location for it where I put three piles in up in a set pattern to support it. But I've relayed out the, the workshop again with a bigger load that I do want to get uh, in the near future. And uh, location where it is, I may need to put one more pile in, but well, we'll just see how we go anyway. As I said, never say no, but never. We'll see how that pans out. Um, it's after Christmas now, so I'd just like to wish all you guys all the best for the new year. And I uh, hope it brings you everything that you want it to bring. Um, for me, I've got, I've got four weeks off work, which is fantastic. So uh, it was a very, very busy time leading up to the end of the year, getting projects wound up and getting budgeting organised for, for next year. So... Um, the four weeks off we're, we're heading two weeks down to Torquay where we go for our family holidays we've been doing that for oh gosh just over 16 years now so this will be the first year that we're going down at least one week without any kids my, my youngest boy is heading off to uh, the Scout Jamboree in Adelaide for the first week so just me and Rose will be down there on our own so we're really looking forward to having a break just together down there so as I said we've never had that before so uh, certainly looking forward to that um, all right, so I guess the next uh, project is we'll, we'll carry on with our, with our lathe mounted slotter. And, uh, it's starting to rust up a little bit. We've had some, some real humid days here. As a matter of fact, yesterday was cracking on to 40 degrees, so it's about 105 in the oil money. So it's been very, very warm here, and, and today we're, we're down to about 35. It's a little bit cooler, but it's still pretty uncomfortable. Um, so the next job we're going to do on this is, uh, is to make up the nut that's going to work be mounted into our slide plate here that we can do our adjustments up and down so just got a bit of stock here that was uh, left over from the from the plate and uh, we'll, we'll knock out a bit of that so uh, I'll be making a start on that fairly soon uh, I've got a fair bit of packing up to do for the camp uh, whether I get it started uh, before we go away I don't know but um, we'll see how we go anyway all right as I said all the best for the new year everyone and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you later